Till death do us part. A woman's place is in the home. You rotten thing. Ain't fair. It ain't fair. You come home for work. No one went in. Fire out. Dinner burnt to bloody cinder. Oh, the wood's damp. It's gone out again. Well, where has she gone till this time? The silly moo. She should be eating, eating. Keep the fire going. Look after me dinner. Ain't it marvellous, huh? Ain't it marvellous? You come home from work, freezing cold house, no dinner. Look at the time. Where's the silly moon gone? Where the bloody hell have you been? I've been out. I know you've been out. When I come home, I found you weren't here. I knew you was out. I was uh, daft. I twigged that. I twigged you were out. Yeah, well, I was. You know, you was, you silly moon. Where? Where have you been? That's what I want, want to know. Up the pictures. Up the pictures, yeah. Up by the pictures with Mike and Rita. Ain't I? Rita, yeah. Up the pictures, yeah. Nice film it was too, wasn't it, Rita? Yeah. Ain't it marvellous, huh? Ain't it marvellous? Been at work all day, flogging me guts out. Come home freezing cold house. No dinner. She's been up the bloody pictures. I'll put you... Put your dinner in the oven, yes. I know you did. I let it get burnt to this bloody cinder. Well, it shouldn't have been. But it is. Look, it's completely incinerated. Do you think I can eat it that muck? Well, I can't understand that. You can. You didn't go out to four o'clock, did you, Rita? I ain't left it under very low gas. Well, look, I didn't get home till part, half past seven. So it's been under the grass for three and a half hours. Three and a half hours? That's not my fault, is it? You come back at a pro- your proper time. Up past five. It would have been all right, wouldn't it? Look, I have to work overtime. You should have had phoned. How could I phone? We haven't got a phone, you silly little great, silly great pedlock. You could have run the call box from outside. We usually do. As, like we usually do. Yeah, look, I don't know. I was working overtime till five o'clock. You are, you want one out? Uh, you went out for not Mum's fault, is it? Look, she ain't got no right going out the pizzas. She's supposed to be here looking after me dinner. Blimey, she's tired to go out sometimes. She doesn't want to be stuck here every day. What's wrong with the fire? It goes out. That's what's wrong with it. If you're going off up the pitches, you can't expect fires to look after themselves. I mean, they can't. Put the their, their coal on, own coal on. You know, you don't need someone here with a shovel in their hands. Do it for them. What? Couldn't you put coal on the fire? I had to work overtime. Well, you've been you've been back two hours now. Why couldn't you light the fire again? Because the rotten wood's damp. That's why. Mind out. I'll do it. What about me dinner? Well, perhaps Rita can fix something up while I light the fire. Can I? You can eat? Yeah, I suppose so. But I can't see why he couldn't have done it himself. He'd been he'd been in long enough. He could have easily fried up something. But he'd rather sit on his backside and complain. Honestly, he can't, can't do a thing for himself. He can't. He's like a little baby. Look, look, you, look. I don't want none of your cheek. I'm your father. Half worse luck. You make me sick, you do. If you had to be your way, Mum would never go out at all. You had a chain to the house, you would. Look, she's got not your slave, you know. Look, Mike, if Mike behaved towards me the way you would prefer to behave towards Mum, sometimes I'll leave it. I'll leave him. I'll walk out, I would. What, the scouse kill? Long yet, let, 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 let scouse get. Long yet, twit. No one to blame you for walking out on him. Look, Mike's got some more consideration. You'll think that you've got your entire body. Don't you cook nothing for me. Don't you do, what, don't you do not me nothing. I would eat it. I wouldn't. I choke in it after what you said. It's your own fault, Darver. Don't cook me nothing. Don't cook it because I won't eat it. Don't worry. I won't. You can starve for what I care. Oh, what do you want? Nothing. Don't just sit there skulking. Skulking. What do you want to eat? I told you nothing. I don't want nothing for you lot. I know what I am to you, the onion. I'm just the onion. That's all I am. Just the onion. That's me. Go on out then. Well, you'd have to anyway, because there's nothing out there. The cupboard's bare. 
Oh dear, I forgot the groceries. That's rushing up the pictures that done that. Think I've got a few thing, tins out there. You want them? Tins? I want. I don't. I don't want no bloody tins. I want. I want a proper dinner. Proper hot dinner. Well, you can't have it, can you? You can't have what I, what I haven't got. Ain't it marvellous, huh? Ain't it marvellous? You work all day, flog your guts out. You flog your guts out to them. And this is how you get repaid. Never mind. It's only one day. Why not hurt you to go out one day for one day. Amazon up the zoo go out one, once a week. Does them good. Better check if the kettle's boiling right. Might be soon back soon with some fish and chips. Don't, oh, you didn't say. Mike was getting fish and chips. I mean, he told me that, that he was getting fish and chips. You would have said, you're getting fish and chips. I didn't mind fish and chips. Oh, dear. What? Well, we ain't getting you any. Well, we didn't know. We thought you had your dinner. We thought you, you'd have dinner. It'd been a pub by now. That was a big dinner. I put it in the oven for you. I thought you wouldn't be able to be, eat anything after that. Mike asked if he could get you get you some. I said no. I said you wouldn't be hungry yet. Not after the dinner, big dinner I put in the oven for him. Why didn't you go over to the court box and ring the fish and chip shop and ask Mike to bring you back some back? Here's a couple of sixpences, thanks. Oh, Dad, we didn't know. It's all right. I told you I do. I told you I do. Oh, Charlie, but I said it. All right, I love you. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, Charlie. Oh, you're a, cool, uh, you're a, a, a caution. Do, but I do. All right, I say it again. Bit of a girl. But I already said it. Oh, Charlie. But I do. I said I do. All right, I say it again. I love you. Yeah, of course I mean it. No, no, there isn't. Just you. Oh, Charlie. It's all right. Got some six pieces. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah, I'll put it in. Oh, are you going to be there all night? Mind your own business. Look, I want to get make a phone call. Well, you have to wait, won't you? No, it's a, it's just some ball that he will get. Yeah, he wants to use the phone block, phone. Oh, no, I know. That's what I told him. Soppy old fool. Look, I know. That's all I, as I said. Some people no manners at all. So, ignorant they are. Did ignorant. You're the one that's ignorant, you cheeky little hussy. Be up with your bed up for eyes. Or, or if you do it with my door. Oh, well, I ain't. Am I? Crikey, you hear that, Charlie? He thought I wouldn't give you me the creeps. Blind me, old lady was fussy, mate. No, it's all right, Charlie. I said, what's him? That old git face. Blind me, I wasn't. I've, I ain't frightened of him. He starts anything. I'll lay him one on him. Look, I need to use the phone. You saucy little bitch, op it. There's plenty of the phone boxes. This one happens to be outside my house. Look, you might be outside your house, Baldy. But it, isn't, it wasn't put here for your own personal use, you know. No, it wasn't put here for my, uh, your personal use either. It's in a public call box. Yes, it was. I was in it first, so why? Don't you push off? No, Charlie, no. But I do. I told you I do. No. I'm going to say it again. Not the old get this. No. Oh, good, Nessie. I'll hang out now. I'll phone you later. Yeah, yeah, all right then. Come on, come on, come on. There's a bloody Benoit Boudoir in there. I don't know your number. Sammy, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Is that whopping two, three, five, six? Well, this is a call box, you know. Yeah, I know. Whopping two, three, five, six, isn't it? So there's a corner whopping on the high street. Yes, but look. Nip across the road, that the number 23 for us. And you, Nip. Until Mr. Williams, his brother Ted, would like to speak to him. Look, two knocks don't ring the bell, because then it annoys her downstairs. Look, I'm trying to, to make a phone call. Yeah, but this is urgent, mate. My phone is urgent too. Look, it won't take any of your minute. No, look, get off the light, darling. I need to make a call. Look, it won't take a minute, mate, friend. It's only across the road. Look, get off this line. Look, I'm asking you a favour, ain't I? You're going to get off this telephone. No, right, I'll fix you. Look, it won't take a minute. Hop it. Number, please, operator. Can you put me through to Sammy's Fish Bar, please? Wrapping High Street. I'm oh, sorry, sir. You have to ring director inquiries. Ring director in... You, thank you. Well, typical boat passing. Come on, go on, blind me. Hurry up. Directory inquiries. Can I help you? Uh, I thought you'd be... Uh, gone to sleep there. Can I help you, please? Yeah. 
I want the number for Sammy's Beach Bar. Have you the address, please? High Whopping High Street Whopping. No, please, that's why I'm with you, aren't I? But look, I beg your pardon, nothing, look. If I had a number, I wouldn't need to phone you, would I? Use your loaf. I want the number for this on the shop. Well, I don't know, there's only one down there. That's the only one chip fish shop in the high street. What's the name then? Uh, do you know the name of people? Well, yeah, of course I know the name. I told you, Sammy, Sammy. I, I want the surname. I don't know the surname. Well, I can't tell you then. Well, there's no need to shout. Look, I ain't shouting. Look, please. I ain't had no me dinner. There's only one fish shop in the high street. Belongs to a fellow called Sammy. That's why they call it Sammy's Fish Shop. And now would you please get me the number of this telephone? Or well, not his house. I ain't, ain't too much to ask, is it? I'm oh, sorry, I can't help you. That's, a, that's typical, you Labour government. Have you trouble trying to get in the number of summies? Give them, take them to them. It's like talking to brick walls, Chippy Kits. Well, you don't need to, to know, do you? Why, well, I'm back. I was, don't suppose you got me any fish. No, but how did I know you wanted any? I mean, I'm not a mind reader. If you're nice and that, huh? Blair, ah, uh, bloody nice. Do you want some of mine? No, I don't want any of yours. I'll put it on my own. Go, go out and get some then. Good, is it? You fry the best of the fish, bits of fish. Yeah, does old Sammy. I mean, look, look at it, marvellous. Oh, you never tasted better fish than, than this once. And that Blackpool. You know, I rec- reckon the reason why his fish is so good because he's closer to the market. Don't you? That's why. They're fresh, I reckon. Do you want a couple of chips? If you want any, I'll get you there quick. If I was you, because he sells out. I'll go out and get you some if you like, Dad. Oh, thanks, ma'am. Thought you said you were going up. Get me some. Let me finish mine first. Yeah, it, it's getting late, isn't it? It won't be long. Well, put yours in the oven. Keep warm until you get back. <coughs> no, I don't want to. He sells out fast there, doesn't he? Big crowd up there when I was there. Don't eat, I can't eat anymore. Dad, you want any of this? Oh, I don't want your leavings. I want my own. Why won't you have it? Your vote is right. What do you want? Come, please. Three pieces. Two bob, bob of chips. Pig, you can't eat anymore. I'll get it. How long is he going to be with, be with your fit? My fish jet, my belly's twitching with hunger. Why don't you just put it... Why don't you just put in... It's in a cup and drink it. It's Rita on the telephone. She said you haven't got any cod. Only rock salmon and skate. What do you want? Tell her the skate will do. A couple of gherkins. You go and tell her. I'll park you out here. There. But I do. I told you I do. Oh, Charlie, look. I do. I told you I do. Oh, God. But I do. Oh, do, Charlie. Look, she do. She do. Now get off the last line. I'll bet you. Look, I need to make a phone call. I am not at my dinner. Well, you have to wait till I finish. That's a bit of that, that bit of girls out there in a poor cool box. Never going. I'm never go, going to get my fish and chips. Going on. I'll chat you up. For, I'll, ch- I'll chat her up for you. You thank you. It's nice, very nice. Of you you ran his skirt sk- sk- Hey, I need. I did it for you. On the number, on, on the number, mate. Do you mind not making all that noise? I've got a baby in here asleep. Mike, Mike, do you hear that? What I said? Look, I'm trying to get my son-in-law out. Well, you go and tell him you can't, yeah? You can, you don't, can't, you ain't got to shout. Why don't you mind your own bloody business? Don't you swear to me. Bell up, Mike, you nuisance. You're down on this street. Pity you don't move. What do you want? That's, what's some number? Well, I don't know. Oh, God. Ring describe through. Direct inquiries. No world ringing them. They want surnames, addresses, every blooming thing. Look, wait in the box for a minute. She ring back. She's bound to. There we are. That's her now. Hello, we Re- Re- Rita. Is that you, Rita? No, it's Ted Williams. Will you do me a fa- favour? Tell me, sister, or my brother. Ted's on the phone. Look, get look, get off the phone. Look, get off his phone. You silly great pellet. Dad, it's me, Rita. Oh, hello, Rita. Now it's Ted. Would you do me a... F- what could you... Would, would you do me? Are you finished? No, I'm not. Yeah, I wanted to make a phone call. Yeah, well, you can just have to wait. Won't you? You're not using it. 
I want to wait for a call call for my daughter. Well, I want to phone my brother Ted. Yeah, he wants to phone you. You, both of you, have to wait because no one's going to. No one's using his box till I get a call for my daughter. Look, I want to talk to my brother. Ted, it's very important. Yeah, and I'm not. I had me supper. As far as concerned, that's a sight more important than that of you, your stupid little brother of yours. Harry, is that you? Is that you? Good Ted, get off. Read that. Is that you? Hello, Dad. Is that you? Yes, yes. Get off. Is that you, Ted? Yes, it's me. It's me. We're trying to get you. Look, what do you want? Skate or rock salmon? Anything. Anything. Just fish and chips. But Harry, hey, Harry, I'm starving. Can you have it now? Ta. And when you get through the bov, uh, to that brother of yours, turn for me, bloody stupid git. Did you get her? Yeah, she complained about you yesterday. And she complained about you swearing, she did. Oh, oh, who swears? Oh, you, who swears? Yeah, our next door's complaining twice. I mean, those walls are only thin, you know. They don't mind their own business, blood nosy bloody moo. Well, I don't like it either. What, you swearing? I don't bloody swear, you silly Silly, silly, bloody moo. I swear now, you always see swearing. You can't talk. It seems without swearing, it's always be this, be that, be the other. Bloody. That's not swearing. Well, I, like, I don't like to hear it. Do you know where the blo- word bloody comes from? You blood. Out of the body. I cut my finger. What does it do? It bleeds. What it, doesn't it? Does it ble- doesn't it bleed? Well, don't. There's something wrong with you. What, what, and what do I say if I cut my finger? I say, look at me, brain is bleeding. My uh, finger's all bloody. Oh, now there's that it's, no, it's that swearing now. It's just swearing then. Swearing then. Oh, but it did, but if I say, oh, look, my bloody finger's all bloody. All that swearing is calling to you. Yes, then. No, you soppy moo. You're so inconsistent. It's the same word, bloody, do the thing context. Context. You can be, how can it be bloody swearing? Well, mate, I'm bloody not swearing the next. If you have just a lack of recovery, that's all. It's not swearing, swearing is taking the Lord's name in vain. All that you do is portray an empty mind, isn't it? Listen, because you're an articulate, inarticulate, well, that's your trouble, inarticulate, articulate? Ah, uh, what? Listen to me, you nanny nanny. You're nothing articulate, there's nothing articulate about me. Blimey, I don't, know, I don't play with other words other than bloody. I just don't use them. I won't use them in my own house for my wife. That's where's me fish and chips by the time I get back to the shop. It was sold out. I sold out. You're not, it's not my fault. So you can't go, like, don't go, so don't go on at me as to hang about trying to phone you. Ain't marvellous. Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing. It, that's all your fault. If you hadn't gone to the button pictures, we started here. Phone call waiting for you to be in the box. If you hadn't, got, if you hadn't gone up to the pictures before you start, there's a phone call waiting for you in the box. Oh, uh, what? Is that Mr. Current? You're speaking. This is Ted Williams. And you not, I'd like to tell you. I'd like to tell you if anyone's bloody stupid git, it's you, mate. Aha. Uh-huh.